Colonia already prepared, and that's why as teachers, we must prepare all these things for students to make the work very easier for them. So let's see. Don't forget, this is portion two now. So in drop. Did you see that now? Did you see? I'm not seeing any precipitate here. Did you see? So in excess now, let's go in excess and see. Can you see everything dissolved? <laughs> That's why it's a practical exam. Did you see? Did you see that now? So, barium chloride. Look at that. This is the top portion, right? So let's see. Barium chloride. Did you see? Did you see what it's changing to? Did you see? Did you see that the white is turning the... Look at it. Did you see that the white is turning the walls of the test tube? And it's just like a chalk. I don't know if you know, you know, like you are grinding chalk and you are putting it in what I can see. That's what it's looking like. Did you see? Did you see that? Did you see? So, very, very important. Did you see? Did you see the color? Like, like you had a chalk. Like you... you you grind it, chalk, and you put it in water. So these things are practical. If you look at it, did you see? Look at it. You'll be seeing a white, like chalk inside. So that's the third one, right? So the fourth one now, we'll look for somewhere to actually do that. I think the body's exhausted. Okay, so the fourth one, for the fourth portion, I measure this my Okay, so let's have just two centimeters of this. Let's have just two centimeters of any solution A. So you can see, this two centimeter. That's what I am using, two centimeter. Some people say, "Oh, sir, can we prepare the Fermi solution A and B?" Of course, you can prepare it, but for ease, work for you not to stress it. You can just get it. You can prepare the Fermi solution A actually because it's just like a compound, a solution of copper sulfate. But you know, in Fermi solution B, there is something we call a tartrate. You might not have it. You'll be looking for that. So why are you looking for that? Where you can get the one that I prepared. You can you can always prepare your diluted here. Uh, you know those ones do not come in their diluted form. Sodium hydroxide, ammonia, barium chloride, all those ones you can prepare. But for finally solution B and A, I would advise you to always get it. Then that's A. Then the B now. Finally solution B, two centimeter also. Two centimeter also. Is it two centimeter? Oh, this is much. So that it will give us okay. Do you see that now? Two centimeter. So this is fairly solution A and B. And where's my first one? Right? So we can say four of solution C plus what? Fairly solution. Fairly solution. A and B plus it. That's what they told us. Fairly solution A and let me say A and B plus it. Right? So when I said for us to get an accurate result, the A and B must be in the same proportion, right? So let's go. So this is my fault. Now look at something. Look at something. I just saw it now. Look at this on standing. Did you see why we said precipitate D not dissolve? Did you see it? Very clear. So sometimes if you leave those things for a few minutes, but because of our time, we cannot be doing that. Okay. So that's it. Look at this one too that we said it's insoluble. Did you see? That's why we said for blue gelatinous. When we add the sodium hydroxide, did you see? So all those things are they are virtual, right? We can they are what we can see. So this is the fourth portion. This let's eat. So let's take our time. Did you see that? Did you see that now? 